Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how to place trades and orders on the dome chart in OEC Trader. So to do this, you're first going to want to open up a dome chart. To do that, go up to the top left and hit the trading button, order tickets, dome, and new window. And you're going to want to search up your contract. I'm going to search up the E-mini contract, the ESH8. Once you have your dome chart open, if you go down to the price ladder and hover over any of the entities, you'll notice that OEC Trader actually provides you with the options you can and can't do in this price ladder. So as you can see, if I left click on the price ladder, I'll place a limit order. If I right click, I'll place a stop order. So for this example, I'm gonna place a long order on the bid side. And if I left click, I'll place a limit order. As you can see, once I left click, I get the confirmation window to place this limit order. And once I do, the blue represents a pending trade. Now let's say I wanted to put in a stop for this trade. On the ask side, if I right click on any of the entities, you can see I have the option to put a stop order in. I can confirm this by hitting OK. And now you can see I have a pending stop order. Now let's say for whatever reason, I wanted to cancel one of these bids. If you look at the top of your dome chart up here, you actually have three options. So depending on your preference, you can either cancel bids, cancel all, or cancel offers. I'll hit cancel all. And as you can see, my both my limit and my stop order disappeared. So besides the three methods that I mentioned previously to cancel orders, there's actually two other unique options you have when attempting to do this. So let's f say, for example, I place in a couple orders. Place a couple short orders. And for whatever reason, I wanted to exit at the market price and cancel these orders. I have the unique button up here, exit at market and cancel. And if I click, it will flatten me out and cancel all previous orders I placed. Let's say, for example, you run into a circumstance where you would actually like to reverse an order that you've placed. You have a unique button in the top right to reverse and cancel orders. So, for example, I'll place a long order, and I want it to reverse that. Simply click the reverse and cancel button, and it will put you into a short position and sell your long order for you. And as you can see, I'm in a short position designated by the red negative in my position field. It's also worth mentioning that down at the bottom of the panel, you have the option to buy at market or sell at market. And the go to last button is actually a pretty unique feature. If for whatever reason you get lost and you want to go back to the current price action, simply press the go to last button and it'll bring you to the current price action. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.